Hello Leo, welcome to Femacy Lighthouse, welcome to my channel and welcome to another energy reading. Today I'm going to be taking a look at the recent past, the present and the future in reference to a love connection that continues to challenge you to book your private reading with me. All of that info is below along with all of the price listings. Private readings with me are an hour long. The best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content onto YouTube is by following me on Instagram. The link to my IG is below and as always, Leo, not each and every one of you watching me are going to feel like this is your story and that's completely fine. It's impossible for me to be able to connect with each and every Leo in this world. All right, let's get right into what's going on. Spirit, please speak to me in reference to Leo and the person that they are dealing with for the recent past. Please speak to me in reference to Leo and the person whom they're dealing with for the recent past. Ooh, look at that. You guys having some issues coming together? <laughs> Cards don't want to come together. All right, let's see what we have for the recent past. For Leo and the person that they're dealing with, please. The recent past for Leo. Okay, you could be dealing with a fire sign, an Aries, a Leo, or a Sagittarius. Please speak to me in reference to. Okay, now we have Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Let's see what else for Leo and the person that they're dealing with. I really feel, Leo, that you are trying your best to make this situation better with your person. You're trying to be kind. You're trying to give them your support. But you still feel like there's some sort of injustice here. Something is not balanced. Something is not happening the way that it should be. There's an energy of you being displeased with something, even though you are trying your best to make it better, okay? Because this is your energy and you're reaching out. You're trying to give support to someone who needs your support at this time. This could be someone that you've been dealing with for a while with past connection energy here. There's a lot of love here but you feel that you're doing more than your partner because there is no balance at this time. But we're gonna take a further look. Now, let's take a look at the present, that's the recent past. Let's take a look at the present. Please speak to me in reference to the present when it comes to Leo. And the person that they're dealing with, please. Talk to me about the recent... Ooh. We're not going to pick that up, though. King of Cups. Good energy. All right. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. So this person is the King of Cups for you. They do still want to make this work. I feel like you doubt if they're even interested, but there's an energy that's coming in that wants to protect you, be around you, make sure that you're feeling better, okay? Because you have been pouring into them, so I feel like they want to give back. Even though there is imbalance and even though you are unhappy because you feel like you're doing more. The scales are not even, right? That's why you haven't been pleased in the recent past position, but this person, it seems like in the present moment, they're really realizing or just really taking into account the fact that you've been very loyal to them. And so they are trying to figure how they're going to make you feel better. That's what I'm getting here. Now, to 
Tell me more about the present moment. I don't know if it's you that's threatening to end this or if it's them who are threatening to do this. The death card does not always indicate that there's an ending. It also indicates that there's a new beginning. All right. So there is an old way of thinking that someone is doing away with. And that's why they're trying their best to repair something in the present moment. Okay, for some of you, there is a major change that's taking place right now in the present moment. Okay, for some of you, it has to do with relocation. Someone is probably threatening to move out or something like that. That's the energy that I get. I feel that when you get into this heated argument with your person, somebody threatens that they're going to get a new place or go off and get this apartment but they don't actually ever do that. And I don't really think that they want to. I think that they want to make this work with you, Leo. But since the scales have not been even lately, whatever that is, that could be in reference to finance, in reference to communication, in reference to you giving more or helping out more than they are. Okay, but well, we're going to take another look. Now let's take a look at the future. Please speak to me in reference to the future. The future for Leo and their person. The future for Leo and their person, please. Communication, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Tell me more about this communication. Tell me more. Pisces energy. Okay, so things improve is what I'm seeing here in the future. Or, you know, I feel like you're not going to be as stressed as you've been. And that's because there's some sort of action that you plan on taking in the future, which makes you feel a lot better. So the swords are in reverse, which is you releasing the stress, releasing the anxiety. You're overthinking too much. You're not going to be doing too much overthinking in the future because it looks like you know exactly what you need to do in order to make this better. And I think your person does as well because we have communication coming in here. So I'm feeling like someone is going to tell you what it is that you want to hear. Now, let's clarify a little bit for you here. Tell me more about Leo and the person that they're dealing with, please. Tell me more about Leo and the person that they're dealing with, please. Judgment card. So someone is judging somebody. You guys are probably judging each other. Talking about how to make this better is what I'm getting here. This also indicates the brand new beginning that I'm talking about. Repairing whatever it is that's challenging, there's something that does get better. Someone is feeling threatened by the end here, whether it be you or the person that you're dealing with. I'm just feeling that someone is fearful of a connection being severed. I don't think that it is. I don't feel that it's going to be permanently severed Somebody is either threatening that or somebody is feeling that. But it's only when there's this tension or when you guys are not settled in your thoughts, when you're thinking irrationally and you say things that you don't mean. I feel like that's where the threat of ending comes. Someone just starts to vocally express that they don't want to do this anymore, but only when there's an argument, right? Tell me more about Leo 
and the person that they're dealing with. This is why I say that I don't see the connection coming to an end because you guys can't stop thinking about each other. You can't stop being around each other. You don't even want to really end this. You feel like you can't live without each other here with Capricorn energy. You see the chains in between these two people. That's how you guys feel, which is why the connection still remains, even if it is toxic. Even if it's toxic, you guys don't even care about that and you want to continue. Honestly, that's what this means. Even when one of you knows that you should just like have a break for a little while and, you know, then come back. It's like no one is wanting to see that something needs to be revised here. Tell me more about this Capricorn energy, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Four of Swords energy. Tell me more. And more Capricorn energy. So then there's trust issues as well. Somebody doesn't trust somebody else and that's why we end up in this cycle of somebody threatening the other person to move on or to leave. But I feel that even though somebody's threatening to leave, they're actually not really going to. I feel that somebody says that when they're pissed off. It's like somebody arguing and bickering, talking about how they don't want to deal with this shit anymore, but only when they're tight. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, because I truly do not believe that you guys want to be apart from each other. You don't really desire to be disconnected. Even if you're not around each other, you feel like your person is sitting right there. But I am heavily getting that someone's threatening to end some sort of cycle here. I, as an energy reader, do not believe that there's an ending here because I feel that when you guys are upset, you don't want nothing to do with each other. But when everything is good, nobody makes you feel that type of euphoria like your person does. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Thank you so much for watching. To understand more about this situation or any other situation, you can book your private reading with me. All of that info is below. And the best way to be notified as to when I put out any new content is by following me on Instagram. The link is below. Take care.